Ladies and gentlemen, as you would no doubt agree, this development in the mining sector implies that local content is more likely to yield suboptimal outcomes in terms of its multiplier effect on the economy, if the status quo remains. In other words, it would culminate in lower employment creation, fiscal revenue, and, economic, and other economic parameters. This stems from the fact that manufacturing leads to higher retention of value in the domestic economy rather than supplies or retailing due to the market differences in degree of value added. Thus, a robust manufacturing sector that is capable of meeting the input requirements of the mining industry is likely to internalize a significant share of mineral revenue. As you may be aware, procurement of inputs is a major cost in, mining, in the mining firms. A research report by McKinsey suggests that mining companies spend between 40% and 80% of their mineral revenue on purchases of inputs. In Ghana, the data from our producing member companies show that they spend 70% of their mineral revenues, uh, revenue on inputs. It is obvious that a thriving manufacturing sector is fundamental to unlocking the full potential of the mining industry to transform our economy. However, the industrial sector has been plagued by systemic and economic challenges that have undermined its ability to take advantage of the captive market opportunities presented by the mining industry. In the, in the last decade alone, a combination of deficit in supply of electricity, the volatile exchange rates have considerably slowed down the growth rate of the manufacturing sector. It averaged less than 4% within the same period. Similarly, the sector's share of gross domestic product declined from 9.1% in 2007 to 4.5% in 2017. In the light of the challenges facing the industrial, industrial sector and opportunities in the mining supply chain, it has become imperative to have a focused discussion on how the sector can be positioned to produce for the mining industry. This discussion is particularly opportune in the context of two major recent developments.